Hello everybody, today we're going to be doing a simple demonstration on how to launch a simple HTML page onto an Apache Tomcat server. So in this video we're going to be doing the following steps. We're going to go ahead and download the Apache Tomcat server. We're going to go ahead and run the server from our IDE and in my case it will be NetBeans. And we're going to gain access to the Apache Tomcat server web console. In addition to that, we'll be creating a simple HTML page with JavaScript and we're going to deploy that to the Tomcat server and we're going to go ahead and launch that from the Tomcat server. So for those of you who are wondering, you know, what is an Apache Tomcat server? Essentially, it is, you know, used by developers to deploy and maintain dy dynamic web applications. So say a person wants to do some shopping online or log on to their social media account. When they actually go to the website, they are connected to a server or a group of servers that host that website. These servers host all kinds of websites. They can be static plain websites like blogs, or they can hold dynamic websites that allow a lot of user interaction, such as like Facebook. There are a whole bunch of companies that provide web host servers uh, to deliver your website, and one of them is the Apache Tomcat server, which I'll be using today in the example to ser uh, serve up a simple HTML page with some JavaScript. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I do have an Apache Tomcat server already on my machine, but I do have the version 9, and I'm going to go ahead and get a new one so you can see how it's done and it's very simple so first let's go ahead and go to the Apache Tomcat website and here it is and you'll see um, that there is a download section over here and there is a Tomcat 10 that we're going to go ahead and download and then you'll see the various ways that we can actually have it you know downloaded onto your machine I'm going to eventually do the tar GZ within the core section up here for version 10.0.21 so now it's downloaded into my download folder so opening up a terminal let's go ahead into the downloads folder and let's go ahead and extract the contents of that version 10 and you can see here I do have version 9 installed previously but in this demonstration we're doing version 10. Okay now that everything's extracted you can see that we have an Apache Tomcat 10 here and all of the files their con configuration files binary files are there. So now going back to NetBeans um, let's go to the servers section here and you can see I have again the existing version 9 but we do have version 10 just downloaded so let's right click and add a server select Apache Tomcat server here and just to make it clear between this version and the existing one I'm going to go ahead and put the actual version that was downloaded which is 10.0.21 select next and go ahead and in the browse section or if you say in the browse button go to the folder where you have the you know Apache Tomcat version downloaded so selecting that folder there and we're going to go ahead and create an username for this Apache Tomcat server so you can you know put whatever you like I happen to just going to use a username admin and just set a password here and leave that checkbox checked it will create this user if it does not exist and then select finish and then you can see that it's already there so we can go ahead and just right click on it and then say start and then it's going to prompt for you know the username credentials and you'll just enter what you did in the previous page when you were uh, setting up the Apache Tomcat server and then now you can see once you're authenticated there is on the left side um, in the servers panel there's this drop down you can select and there's various pages that you can select on and if you right click and say open in browser it'll bring up the browser accessory and it will prompt you again for your credentials and here we see an access denied so this is fine uh, this is something that happens on default um, we're gonna have to modify an XML file here so if you see here there is this conf tomcat users xml we're going to have to update that to include some additional roles for the user we created so 
back into terminal, go ahead into uh, the Apache Tomcat you know installation folder, go into the comp folder and open up Tomcat users XML. If you scroll down you'll see the user that was created and you should see it for yourself what you created and then notice these roles that are up here. We're essentially going to add those roles to the user that was created here um, that we want to grant this access to. So you can just type uh, follow along as you see and let's go ahead and add those roles that you see up there that are missing in the one that was created. Save the file and if you go back to the page, the browser, or let's go back to here NetBeans, and if we say open in browser again, you'll see that now we can actually access the Tomcat web application um, server page. Okay, now that it's up and running, let's go ahead and make a quick web application. And when I say web application, we're just going to create a simple HTML page. And you can see how you can deploy that to the Tomcat web server and actually launch it. So I'm creating this index.html. And here in the internet, I just search for a quick, simple, like, HTML hello world. And we're going to go ahead and grab the, these tags here and just copy that into our index.html. Let's go ahead and save that. And now we can go back into the web browser for the Tomcat server. And here in the deploy section, we're going to enter a context path, um, which is just going to be just any you know folder name you want to put. And then we got to actually put the path to those files that you have. So in my case, it's over here. I'm going to do pwd. Here's the folder location to the index.html. And I'm going to copy that into this section and select deploy. Now, it actually failed here, and it's actually something very simple that I forgot. For the context path, you do have to enter the forward slash first. It can't just be an empty string, or just a string with no forward slash. So let me go ahead and update that and click deploy. And you can see now it was successfully deployed. And if I scroll down, you should be able to see that hello world that I have here. And if I open that up in a new tab, you will see the simple HTML page being served up by the Apache Tomcat server. So that's pretty simple. Um, we're going to go ahead and just add some JavaScript to that HTML page. And here we're going to actually create a script section. So follow along as you see. And we're going to simply put an alert to say just hello again. And go ahead and save this, exit out, open up the web browser again for the Tomcat Manager website. Let's click on deploy and let's just go ahead and enter in the context path again and the folder path to the HTML again and click deploy. So it's successfully deployed and now let's go ahead and open this up in another browser or another tab and you can see there is the alert that came up so the JavaScript was actually executed by the Tomcat server and once you click OK it shows the rest of the index HTML so that's it pretty much this was just a introductory uh, video into how to launch an application within the Tomcat server I will be building on this to show how to create a more sophisticated application uh, using JavaScript, HTML, and a WAR file to actually a Java web application um, to to do something a little bit more complicated. And so, just wanted to show this as a precursor to that, and hopefully, this was helpful to everybody that wanted to seek this out.